having a solid profile picture for your brand or for your teacher profile if you're an online teacher like me or Instagram is really important. So I'm going to show you how you can create a beautiful background behind you even if there's an ugly background behind you in your picture right now. All you're going to need is a great picture of your profile and make sure that you take the picture near a window with some good lighting. Hi, I'm Danny, and if you're interested in all things online entrepreneurship, health, and travel, then please subscribe, and if this is helpful to you, give it a thumbs up. All right, let's get started. So you're going to start in canva.com. I have a link below and you can do this if you have the paid version or the free version. You will just have to do one extra step if you do not have the pro version. I highly recommend the pro version. It is so helpful, especially if you own or run a business. So here you'll want to type in Instagram and you can click Instagram post because we need it to be a square size and you will just click blank. Then you are going to want to go to uploads and upload the picture that you want to use. So here you can see I have some options. Let's say I want this to be my new profile picture for Instagram or my teaching profile. So I have my picture here. What I'm going to do is click effects and click background remover. Now, if you don't have the pro version, you won't be able to do it with the background remover, but I will show you how you can do it on your computer very easily right now. So there's a couple ways you can do this. I'm going to pull up my picture and I'm going to click the toolbox you see here. And I'm going to select on the left hand side, lasso selection. And then I am going to take that tool and I'm going to drag it and go all the way around myself and then up to the top and click delete once I formed a full circle. And then I'll go around and I'll just create little circles and edit it. If you don't want to do it this way, you don't have to. You can actually just Google background remover and there's some free tools you can do that way. I prefer to do it like this just because I have a little bit more control and I can sort of edit it to how I want it to be. And then once I'm finished, I click save and I can upload it to Canva. So as you can see, it takes out the background behind me quite nicely. And the higher quality the picture, the better it will be able to do this. So then I can click on background and let's say I want my background to be my brand color of blue or yellow, or you can even use some of these patterns if that's what you're feeling. I recommend doing something more simple. I'm going to go with this yellow color and then if I need to make myself a little bit bigger then I can drag the picture. Now something to note if I drag the picture fully out like this and then I try to change the background you'll see it will disappear. So make sure when you're first doing this that you keep the picture to be smaller than the frame. So see how it's smaller than the full width. That way when you change it it will keep your picture there but when you pull it out fully it thinks that you want that as the background so you can then after once you have the background you want then you can expand it out but just know if you expand it out before you're done picking the background that it will disappear just something good to note so I will center my picture and there we go. So that's a great way to change up your background. I hope this video was helpful for you. As always, if you have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you. Also, if you have any requests of how-to videos you'd like me to make, please let me know in the comments below as well. All right, everybody. See you next week. Bye.